Welcome to Keepers. I'm Matt Ufford, and this is the Fantasy Football Show for Adderall users and abusers. If you have some, send it my way. I don't have a prescription, but SB Nation doesn't drug test. Please, this is the internet. Anything worth consuming online was created by some combination of caffeine, booze, and prescription narcotics. Let's kick things off with starts and sits for week 13. Start your quiz, Rogers. Mike Smith seems to be coming to grips with the fact that Michael Turner is finished. A mere two and a half months after everyone else with eyes recognized this. Quiz got 10 carries last week to Turner's 13 and got almost three times the yardage with it. Look for Rodgers to excel against the awful Saints D. Sit Fred Jackson. While we're talking about coaches coming to grips with what's obvious to the most casual fan, Chan Gailey is finally giving the more talented CJ Spiller the touches he deserves. Even against the Jaguars, I leave Jackson on the bench. Start Michael Bush. Matt Forte finally succumbed to his annual injury, so Bush looks to be the featured back against a Seahawks defense that's been terrible against the run in recent weeks. And right after I gave up and dropped him in two different leagues. <laughs> I hate fantasy. Start Pierre Garçon. With RG3 on a hot streak and Garçon finally recovered from the injury that cost him most of the season, I think he'll do well against an overmatched Giants secondary. Sit Mike Wallace. He's averaging about 15 yards per game over the last three weeks, and he's in danger of losing his starting spot to Emmanuel Sanders. Add in the Ravens' defense and the Steelers' quarterback situation, and you're better off rolling the dice with someone else on your roster. Start the Jets' defense. Once again, whoever the Cardinals are playing is a great start. I'm going to keep riding this hot streak. Ryan Lindley is going to make us all rich. Sit the Seattle defense. Seahawks are lousy on the road, and only a Leon Washington kickoff return made them a viable play in Week 12. I don't see them doing any better against the Bears. Start Tony Romo against Philadelphia. Ever since the Eagles fired defensive coordinator Juan Castillo during their bye week, the unit has gotten worse. In the last five weeks, the Eagles have given up 13 passing touchdowns with no interceptions. Fun fact, the Phillies have won a game more recently than the Eagles. <laughs> Sucks. Wondering what to think of this advice? Let's see what satisfied customers are saying in the reality check. After an iffy November, week 12 was probably my best of the season. Aaron Shannon tweeted at me to say, holy shit, you saved my playoff chances with that advice on Bryce Brown. Happy to help, Aaron. Well, Dan Wyman gave me a shout out for suggesting the Rams defense against Arizona. You may remember the Rams had four interceptions, two of which Janoris Jenkins returned for scores. Always nice to get 20 plus points from a defense you picked up in free agency. I'd go on with all my savvy predictions last week. Cecil Shorts, Justin Blackman, Tony Romo, Colin Kaepernick, Eli Manning, but I've only got so much time for keepers and the last thing I need is delusions of competence. Let's move on. No more trading block this season because it's week 13. Fantasy playoffs start next week and if your league's trade deadline hasn't passed, you need to adjust the settings for your league next year. That means we're going straight to the weather report. What you got, Isaac? This is why we weather. Matt, a battle is brewing in America's heartland. And I'm not talking about a delicious specialty beer. The cheesy Green Bay Packers fight the Minnesota Vikings at Lambeau Field. With highs in the upper 40s, some of us might consider it a bit nippy. But to these Midwestern monsters, it's another summer's day. In fact, like you could say that it's- a for monsters. You, Matt. Hmm. Awkward. As always, we close the show with hire and fire. Hire Cedric Benson and fire Peyton Hillis. His health is still a question, but I like Benson as a playoff stash, especially with Green Bay's Week 16 matchup against Tennessee. And why does anyone own Hillis? Seriously, you want a backup running back on the Chiefs? Sorry, there are no fantasy points for terrible passes to Brady Quinn on trick plays. Although there should be. Hire Ryan Broyles and fire James Jones. Broyles has supplanted Titus Young as Detroit's best wideout behind Calvin Johnson, and with Matt Stafford not sucking anymore, he's a viable play in most leagues. As for Jones, I may be a little quick on the trigger here, but with Greg Jennings back in the lineup, Jones falls to number four in Green Bay's wide receiver pecking order. If anyone benefits from Jennings' return, I think it'll be Jordy Nelson. Hire Dallas Clark and fire Martellus Bennett. Clark has emerged as one of Josh Freeman's favorite targets in the last few weeks, and he could be an important safety valve against a solid Denver defense. As for Bennett, I like his matchup against the Redskins this week. He had 79 yards against them in week seven, but he hasn't scored a touchdown since week three. Don't stick with him into the fantasy playoffs. Okay, here are some other hires I'd look at this week. Jarius Wright of the Vikings. If Percy Harvin isn't healthy, he could see more action again this week. T.Y. Hilton, not just a speedy deep threat, also a red zone option for Andrew Luck. 
I started him last week and felt pretty great about his two touchdowns, until I realized my opponent had Bryce Brown. Womp womp. Mohamed Sanu, he scored four touchdowns in the last three weeks, replacing the injured Andrew Hawkins as a scoring threat behind AJ Green. Hawkins might be back in week 13, but if not, I'd give Sanu a start against the Chargers. My other fires for week 13 are Alex Smith and Alex Smith. <laughs> Sorry buddy, you had a good run. Enjoy starting in Kansas City next year. That's it for week 13. Your outdoor activity of the week, ice skating. Ice skating is a great way to get the holiday spirit and also plantar fasciitis. Stupid rental skates. Set your lineups. See you next week for the playoffs.